What's up YouTube, it's Jacob for the love of tools. Today I had a subscriber ask him for more questions about the Tecton wrenches, the angle wrenches, so today we're gonna go over them again. Stick around. So guys, the question I got was from Princess Jamie. Um, I will leave a link to her channel up here. But, so she was asking about the Tekton angled wrenches specifically, um, I mean, what their performance is, if you're actually using them right, unlike I did in a previous video. We'll link that up here as well. But you kinda wanna know the length, so you can see this one is one and an eighth, and it's sitting 11, 11 and a half, somewhere in there. You know, I got it over here on the side of the toolbox. But she wanted to know, you know, if you're using these on suspension components, like if you're using them to hold a bolt and use an impact on the other side. So we're going to do that. And I'm also going to show some more real world applications where these come in very handy in like extra tight spaces. I got a truck right behind me that I got to change some air fittings on because they're leaking and trying to get to them with anything else besides an angled wrench is just a pain in the ass. So let's go take some shit off. So guys, we're here under the truck. Uh, we're gonna be taking out this bolt right here. I haven't touched it yet. So we are gonna be using the inch and an eighth for the angled wrench to hold the back side of the nut. It's not really it's not really a space constriction. I mean, you could get literally anything you wanted in there. I just wanted to demonstrate the um, that, that it does work for this. And we are going to be using, because I do have a space restriction on the other side for big impacts, the Matco MT2765. I did a video on that. I will link that up to the top where I compared it to the Cornwell. But so let's see if this is going to take it off and if it shouldn't damage the wrench or nothing. But let's just see. So as you can see, doing it for that. The wrench didn't slip off at all. I mean, the wrench is still in good shape. But so that's kind of, Jamie, hopefully that answers your question on if it works with an impact or not. Let's tighten this back on. So for like holding bolts on suspensions, I think these wrenches are going to work great. I mean, if you're actually, if I was to sit here and try to use this to, oh fuck, wrench this bolt off, I mean, it's not long enough to get a whole lot of leverage. And if I were to put like a cheater pipe or something on here, I would most likely spread the jaws like I did to my, uh, my to failure video on these Tecton wrenches. But that's not really what they're meant for. Uh, they're meant to get into tight spaces. So. Let's go show you how they do on taking off some air fittings. All right, so guys, we're over here. We're going to be dealing with this air fitting right here. I saved you guys the displeasure of me struggling for five minutes to fucking get the stupid airline out. But so that fitting is a 15 16 I mean, it doesn't look super tight, but with all these wires, sorry, you guys are going to be shaky because getting this camera up here is not easy. But with these wires and everything, and then you got the uh, the clutch linkage right here, and all the other airlines below, it just it makes it hard to get to. This fitting is like the epitome of my demise. So I'll show you. This is a <clears throat> this is a Sunax wrench. It's a 15 16 So you can see that. I mean, I can get it on there and back there. It's just it's like impossible to turn because I don't have any leverage on this thing and then we have the gear wrench 15 16 I mean you can kind of you can kind of get to it from up here and you have the leverage to turn it if it ever wants to turn but that's it I stop I stop right here 
and then electrical connector, and then I can't get it back on. But so if we switch over to this, the Tecton, there we go, the Tecton 15 16 I can go from more angles. So, I mean, this doesn't get on there very good from this side. Oh, no. It's really hard with this camera here. It makes all my mechanicing even harder. Let's see if we keep coming in from the top. So, there's where the gear wrench left us. So if we switch it over, I should be here. And I can move it a little bit more. Let me switch it back to this side. I might just be able to flip it over. Can't flip it over that way. It's, it's, like, it's like a fucking puzzle. I'm trying to find which way this fits on there, but one way is usually always going to fit. This is just one of those fittings that's a nightmare to get off. Oh, there we go. We got a good bite there. So now it's a little bit looser. So now we can start coming in it less than desirable angles you know where we're gripping less of the fitting so I'll fucking get off that other airline oh no see it's just one of those things there we go. This might be loose enough now. Yeah, it's just one of those things where no matter what angle you're coming from, it's hard. But these Tecton angled wrenches make it a lot easier than a straight wrench. Just because, I mean, it's, it, you got to flip it around a lot to figure out where it's going to fit. But eventually you're gonna find a spot where it fits until it's easy enough to come out. So guys, if getting into tighter spots was easier with the camera, I would show you some of the more better stuff that these Tecton wrenches can do. I mean, they are really nice. I mean, they're slightly, I mean, they're, they're shorter than your standard length wrench. But for doing hydraulic lines, air fittings, uh, even brake lines, I mean, these are really meant for, I mean, these are really line wrenches. They're meant for any kind of line, any kind of fitting that goes to a line, like this guy here. I mean, if you look, we didn't damage the outside at all when we were twisting it, and this was actually in there pretty tight. We didn't damage the wrench at all. We didn't do any damage to it. The inch and an eighth, you know, we used it on this side. It didn't, you know, ping the metal at all. My final thoughts on these wrenches, I mean, I would recommend them to anybody because they are a good set at an affordable price. Tecton's warranty process is super easy. All you have to do is email the company, and I mean, with me, they emailed me back in minutes. You know, I said, this is my problem, I want to get it fixed. It's one of the guys from their warranty team emailed me back right away and said, okay, let's get some pictures so I can see the part number and the wrench and then tell me what's wrong with it. And then I had a wrench in the mail in two days, which is a faster turnaround time than even a tool truck that you only see once a week unless the tool guy does make a special trip out to you. So the only other thing I would say is don't bother buying. I, I bought the set that goes from a quarter inch all the way up to inch and a quarter. I wouldn't waste your money on that set because realistically anything under even three eighths you're not going to use or even under nine sixteenths you're most likely not going to use so they do make a safe they go set that goes from three eighths to an inch and then they make expansion sets after that i would go that route and buy them as you need them don't buy the set that goes down to a quarter inch but that's it guys thanks for watching the channel remember to like subscribe comment 
Let me know what you thought of this video. Shoot me ideas for ideas for future videos, anything you guys want to see. All right, that's it. We'll catch you back on the next one.